what is the ugliest car ever made? Is it the Chrysler PT Cruiser? No! How about the notorious Fiat Multipla? No! Is it the Trabant made by the communists in East Germany during post-World War II? No! What about the Nissan Juke? No! Okay, so those are wrong. But what about the Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet? No! Alright, I'm gonna answer one more time, but if I get this wrong, I'm just gonna give up. What about the Pontiac Aztec? Yes. Oh wow, I finally got it right. Well guys, as you can tell, you, you read the title. You're actually looking at the ugliest car made by General Motors. This right here is the Pontiac Aztec. It was a car that was made for four model years, 2001 all the way to 2005. Yes, and it is, quite frankly, the worst car ever built by General Motors. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Before we start going crazy over the Pontiac Aztecs, you guys probably wouldn't know Pontiac from the Firebird, the earliest GTO, and the latest GTO, or also known as the Holden Monaro in Australia, or the Vauxhall Monaro in the UK. Yes, I'm talking about Vauxhall, the same company who made the horrible Corsa. But back to the Pontiac Aztec. The Aztec was only made in four model years, 2001 and all the way up to 2005. The ugliest and most blandest of, out of all is the early 2000s versions of the Pontiac Aztec. Uh, the gray plastic and then the three spoke wheels, three spoke hubcaps for the base model and then three spoke alloys for the updated model. Ugh, God. But after watching that Doug DeMira video of the Pontiac Aztec, I actually do have to agree with him. The Pony Aztec is starting to become kind of cool. And I'll show you why. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Let's first talk about the interior. Yes, I know, every GM car made in this time, we're all bland. But what I really love about the Pontiac Aztec is the built in cooler that was included when you buy the car brand new or for someone else. And I do have to say that built in is kind of an understatement because it's detachable. Can you imagine? Do you see anybody with a car like that with a detachable cooler? I bet your Toyota Prius doesn't have that. And when I mean the Pontiac Aztec has a cooler, I mean it's a legitimate cooler. You can actually stow drinks in there and keep it cool. But if you don't want to put any drinks in there and you want to use it for just, you know, your practical uh, use like anyone else when they drive a car, you can actually just stow your CDs or all your personal belongings in there that if you want to. But the best part is to keep it as a cooler, and that's what I love about this car. Another cool Pontiac Aztec feature is the washer jets. Most cars have their washer jets integrated on the bonnet itself, but on the Pontiac Aztec, the washer jets are integrated on the wiper arm itself. This means it will increase efficiency when you're washing your windshield. And yes, I know this windshield wiper is from a 2014 Mustang. But the Pontiac Aztec had this characteristic before the 2014 Mustang. Those two features that I talked about on the Pontiac Aztec are pretty cool, but it's only one thing that makes this car stand out than the rest of the SUV lineup. That's the pièce de résistance. This car is a tent on wheels. And that's right, this car came with an optional tent. That extra piece of cloth for the guy sitting underneath is actually called the awning and you basically set it up as if you were going camping. And what really makes more versatile than just that, Pontiac does offer a lot of the Pontiac Aztec owners the air mattress. And yes, it will include the air mattress as part of the option of the tent. You can't go camping without an air mattress. Please be honest, how amazing is that? It's amazing. When you think of the word ugly, you think of it as a negative word, right? I can literally call my friend ugly and he'll get offended. But as far as automobiles, ugliest cars, I love them because they stand out than the rest. Having an ugly car is just like having a Lamborghini and a Ferrari. Everybody will be looking at you because you have this thing and it stands out. And 
I have to give Pontiac the credit for making the Pontiac Aztec, including those uh, those other ugliest cars that I mentioned earlier in this video, like the Nissan Cross Cabriolet, Nissan Juke, because those are the cars that really stand out. And and nobody would really have that kind of car. Everybody's gonna be driving all uh, Toyotas, Toyotas, uh, Priuses, and then everybody's gonna be driving Nissan Sentras. They're all the same, bland, and everybody would not care about it. But when they think about a Pontiac Aztec or an ugly car or even a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, just to bring it up here, people will look at you. Like honestly, like I said, having an ugly car. It's like having a Ferrari because everybody will be looking at you and a Ferrari is an enthusiast car, like enthusiast car manufacturer. Everybody will be looking at you when you drive a Ferrari. Same goes when you drive an ugly car like a Pontiac Aztec. So just for thinking about it, I might as well say that the Pontiac Aztec is a cool car and you might as well give the Pontiac Aztec a second thought. Sure it may be ugly, sure it may be unattractive, sure it probably may be hated, but it's cool at the same time. If I ever owned a Pontiac Aztec, I would drive it up to Camp Everfree. And so there you go. The Pontiac Aztec may be ugly, but it is cool at the same time. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel for more RC videos, radio control, and automotive. Thanks for watching.